Okay, so hello. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of a talk through about how I made uh, this edit. So I wasn't actually planning on doing this, so I've only got the videos. So I'm just gonna talk over them. So we start off. I'd already made this background. It's uh, just a sky, and I've got a basic clouds. Um, on the bottom and I just colour balanced, saturated them a little bit, I masked them out and blended them together that was about it. Um, to just start with I found this fox picture uh, and I basically just cut it out using the pen tool uh, refined the mask and then I just basically placed it in the middle uh, blended in the, the clouds I turned down the opacity as I went up so it looked more realistic like the clouds were getting thinner the higher up the rock you went uh, I've find the rock uh, selection there uh, and then this is just me uh, colour balancing the rock and adding her highlights and shadows so uh, I used the hue and saturation to make it a little bit pink on the top uh, like the uh, the pink sky is reflecting down on it um, this is just me blending it in and then I got this tree uh, at first I tried to select this using the pen tool but that just was going to take forever so um, I found this tutorial online how to easily select trees um, we'll get to that so what you do is you uh it's actually probably easier if I if you just search up yourself, it's pretty simple. Uh, so so I've masked the tree here. And I I think I put the tree on in the next in the next video. So yeah. I put the they put the tree in, I think. Yeah I do. It's just and then I um, try and blend this tree in as much as I can. It wasn't really working though. It takes it took forever to get this tree looking realistic. So you can just see what I'm doing. I'm color balancing it. I'm I try to go more of a um, pinkish t tone on everything in this. Looks like I balanced the rock to try and uh, fit in a bit better as well here. And then the next thing I do, I think, is highlights. Oh no, I tried to put this grass on, uh, but that wasn't working. I'll just skip through this because then if I ended up using that, I think that's the end. I accidentally left recording going, so there's a bunch of nonsense there. Um, now I try and put clouds on. Uh, all over the foreground but a uh, very low opacity so it's not overpowering so that's what I'm doing here I can just leave it uh, there and then put it on blending mode to screen and then blend that out and uh, put the opacity down a bunch so it's like uh, cloudy in the foreground what am I doing? Uh, this is just me, so I'm, I think I'm trying to fit in the, the uh, rock again here. This is a tree. This is me adding uh, highlights to the tree, highlights and shadows. Uh, I use uh, exposure. No, I've already done that. I'm waffling. Um, I'm just playing around with the adjustment layers to try and get this tree to look like it fits there because it really was not uh, looking good. I did a bit more of the roots back in here. Um, I ended up not using that. Uh, I copied, um, copied this rock and I uh, tw um, swung it around a bit and made the uh, the main sort of island bigger and then just blended them together 
because I was planning on putting something on this rock but uh, it never happened because I couldn't get anything uh, that looked decent just me I blend it in just uh, erasing some of the the second rock uh, and then I get that looking decent and I leave that uh, I was planning on putting a deer there it didn't work out I'll just skip through this it's just me selecting the deer uh, I put it on I don't like it so just get rid of it. I also tried to put a second tree on. Uh, I never ended up doing that. Um, and that's about it for that one. I, here, I forgot to record quite a bit of this. So I'm going to go into Photoshop and show you what I did here. Because you can see I've added quite a few stuff, uh, bits and pieces. So here we are. I'm just going to go through and show what I did. So, I added this uh, this boat. This one, I'll show you what I did here. So, I've got the uh, this PNG of a boat. Uh, I can link... Um, I just searched up... Uh, it's on DeviantArt uh, Boat PNG, and it comes with like a six different PNGs in one. That was nice. So, I, I put the boat on... I'll turn all this off. this is the boat. Um, I masked out the same the way I did with the rock so it looks like it's in the in the clouds. Um, uh, added a bit of pink saturation there and then I added these little flare things so it looks like they've got lights in the in whatever they're called the whatever the, the high bit up is called. Then I did a hue and saturation layer and made them pink pinky reddy sort of colour and uh, I did that for three. Uh, what else have we missed? I, and I also added two more rocks so this one is basically the same. I got a different type of rock this time though um, I'll be able to show you. So this was the rock I masked it out, uh, blended it in and then darkened it colour balanced it to make it a bit more red and then uh, hue and saturation I just played around with it until it looked okay and then this rock as well um, this one nope. I should have named uh, these layers a bit more better here it's basically the same thing there's uh, a bit more going on because I just copied this this one here and I just uh, placed it here so So first thing, I, I darkened it a tiny bit of curves. Uh, what are these? I'm not sure what they're doing to be honest. Um, darkened it a bit more of curves, colour balanced it. The, no, there we go. Um, this curve's really darkened it. Colour balanced again for some reason. And then added highlights and shadows with these two. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's all I'd got around to. I'd uh, done nothing there. So now we're back to the recording. Oh, this is me doing this rock, I think. Yeah. I'm just going over that. Uh, I add a. Oh, this is where I add the ship. So I, I get another one of the uh, the pirate ships. There. and um, at this time I make it so it looks like it's sunk into the uh, the clouds a little bit like it's a shipwreck so I, I uh, just tilt it and mask it out at the front a little bit and uh, to make it look like it's kind of in the clouds with a um, low hardness brush Then I add some very hazy clouds over the entire thing again, right at the top, and I put the uh, screen blending mode, I think.
yeah and then I turn the opacity down a little bit so it's not uh, crazy then I, I add um, I add one of the little sparkly things to the, the sinking boat as well there it is um, do I? oh it doesn't look like it do I do it's just I uh, missed in the recording it looks like I had a moon, it's, you can hardly notice this on the main piece um, it's literally impossible to see but I just left it there, it's very subtle and then I had a bigger moon up here but you literally can't see that I also added this rock at some point it's just the same as all the other rocks, just darkened it, contrast uh, colour balanced it uh, add some Oh, and then I add an, another rock right at the back. I'm just basically doing the same for all these rocks. Uh, I'll just skip over them. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I was going to add northern lights at one point. That did not work. I added. I tried to add a not another tree. That just looked rubbish. You can see, I, I tried to fit in. It just didn't look right. So I got rid of that. Another rock, another ship. I put this ship really small in the back, and then I, I, I think I turned the opacity of this ship down so it looks like it's further away. I'm actually doing uh, masking the clouds at the bottom again. I add these these little particles all over. Put a screen blending mode on. Turn the opacity down. I tried to make this tree look a bit more real because at this point, it doesn't look like it belongs belongs in the piece really. It just looks a bit weird. So I do a camera raw filter under the tree. Try and make it look a bit a bit better. It, I think it does look a little bit better. I added a some I just kept trying to add adjustment layers until it looked decent. Say so I do a curves one here. Uh, levels one even. It was really awkward. So it's looking a bit better. Um anything else? I think I'd pretty much just add just try finally um tuning everything to make it blend in a bit better. This point. Uh, then do a camera foot on the entire thing. I'll see what I do here. So I I turn the temperature down. I'm trying to get a pinky sort of look. So uh, I uh, turn the temperature down and put the tint up. Contrast up a little bit. Uh, highlights up a bit. I didn't play with the rest really. Because that just does crazy stuff. Uh, I think I turned the texture up quite a bit. I think I leave it about 50% maybe. Yeah. Clarity, that's, it just looks a bit, if you go too far it looks too much. Uh, Dehaze the same. I just play, it's basically just play around where you, to find where you like it. Um, color mixer, you, it's just it's just uh, more color balancing. Try and make it look real. I added a bit more pink to this sky, and a bit more. I took out a lot of some of the green on the tree because there's there's not much green in this, so it, that might have been why it looked a bit weird. Then uh, color grading, I give uh, midtone sh shadows and highlights. I give them all a a pinky sort of um, look. That was about it for I I ended up not liking that because the tree just looked a bit weird. So uh, I turned that down a bit, and then not in the uh, not in the video. 
he added even more particles here. Not in the video, I did a, I did a second um, camera filter. Where are we? Is this one? So it went, this is what I was talking about before camera, after camera. So you can see this was my first camera attempt. Uh, I did not like that at all. The tree just looked weird. And then the second one was basically the same, but I tried to mask out the tree. It didn't work, so I, I just did it again. And uh, this just worked this time. It looks a lot better. And that was about it, really. It was uh, lots of layers, this one. See how many. Probably a hundred layers, maybe, maybe a bit less. Yeah, yeah. I think it was about um, two and a half hours it took me. So yeah, that's about it.